Okay, so there are a number of virtual assistants out there who don't use a bookkeeping software such as QuickBooks. Some people are using Excel to keep track of things. And one thing that I firmly believe in is budgeting for your business. And the only way to do budgeting for your business and if your virtual assistant business is your sole source of income, then you also should be budgeting on personal side. And I will say that the budgeting that I've done for my own business helped me pay down this year actually to get debt free in 2013 and I paid down over $21,000 in debt. So I contribute a lot of that to reading Dave Ramsey's book The Complete Guide to Money. And so one of the things that I created um, as well the idea came from someone else and then I just built upon that particular idea that I got so that things were even better and more customized to what I needed and so I thought that I'd at least do this quick video and show you this Google Drive spreadsheet that you could either purchase from me and along with it will be an Excel version if you prefer to have it in Excel versus Google Drive and so what I'm doing here is I'm going to show you the Google Drive version and kind of briefly walk through it to show you how you can use it to keep track of your income and expenses as well as any debt reduction and balance sheet items you may have and so let's get started I guess on that so you can see here I have this laid out for the entire year and I have some sample data in January through April just so you can kind of get an idea and see more than just one month and so what I'm doing um, with the way it's set up and of course if you decide to purchase this you can make whatever changes you'd like um, with everything so real quick anything that shows in yellow indicates that it's a line that is formula driven not hard entered data so if you see yellow that's what it means and then I just have these little tip areas in bright blue and the reason I'm putting the negative numbers in I'm sorry the expense numbers in as negatives makes more sense when you get down to the very bottom but basically it's just to show essentially this subtraction from the income that you brought in and then so down here we have total expenses again this is a yellow line which means it's formula driven with the expenses mentioned above in this section and then this line is again formula driven taking the gross income minus your expenses to give you gross income for that particular month and then this is the area that some people struggle with that don't understand financials would be the balance sheet area and so there's certain things that you spend money on and the money is going out of your checking account but they're not actually truly an expense they're actually an item that goes on a balance sheet so for example taxes that you would pay to the IRS would be an example furniture and equipment purchases owner draw so any money you're taking out of the business for yourself would be a balance sheet item owner contribution would be money that you're taking from your personal funds and putting into your business hence why that shows here as a positive owner draw showing as a negative because that's money leaving your checking account and then I also have a line in here for my business credit card and so um, for example I have in here hundred dollar a month payments and then I have a line item to adjust for the interest expense because the interest on the credit card is actually notated up here under credit card interest so if you make a one hundred dollar payment on your credit card and if you're being charged finance charges on that so for example of one hundred dollar payment that I notate down here I made one hundred dollar payment and up here I'm saying that thirty eight dollars and twelve cents of that was interest so the interest then we would have as an expense but the actual true pay down on the principal on that credit card is going to be the hundred dollar payment less the thirty eight dollars and twelve cents so the difference between those two is actually the payment that went toward the principal amount and then I have one other line item on here as well for savings account transfers if you're taking money in and out of your savings account to put into checking so then there's again formula driven line because it's yellow it's just figuring out the difference between additional cash in and out 
based on this little section right here and then adjusted net income. And this isn't the true accounting phrase um, for this, I don't think, uh, but basically it's just saying at the end of the day, you should have $9,400 that got contributed to your checking account essentially. And then down here, just for purposes, if you're trying to get out of debt, being able to monitor where you're going every month and making sure you're not actually going up, which would be quote unquote backwards, I just added this in here too so that you can just easily see, well, am I actually making progress towards paying the principal balance down? And so this, therefore, then would be the principal balance left on your credit card as of whatever closing dates on the statement. So we have um, went over all these areas and basically what they mean, you can obviously edit whatever you want. I see administrative is spelled wrong here. Um, I do keep track of my main service-based income versus other income, which I consider gravy, the fun stuff that is unexpected, um, whether that's through affiliate sales. I do have a product actually on Fiverr, which is why I have this in here. Um, the 10% uh, referral fee I get from other virtual assistants. I have some products on virtual assistant forums, so that's my product sales and then expenses that I pay out of pocket that are reimbursed penny for penny from clients. And then of course you can see I'm not earning very much from, from interest. And then training income, that's for the Become a Virtual Assistant, the Jumpstart class that I teach through Virtual Assistant forums. So I just have that notated training. And again, you can name these whatever you'd like. And so over here in column N, this actually needs to be all yellow because it's all formula driven, you'll see it's tallying everything from January through December. And monthly average also needs to be yellow. Um, basically, it's just the average of what's coming in and where this is picking up from. So this is saying N4, which would be the, this total here, for example, and dividing that by the number of months I've indicated up here. And so in this particular example, I have January through April, so that's four months, and that's why I have this as a four. So let's just see what happens when I change this to a five, presuming that we had all of May's information entered in. So if you watch the column O, you will notice that when I change them, this number to five, it's gonna impact all of these numbers here. So let's just look at this bottom line income number. It's showing right now 10, 8, 12, based off of four months. If I change this to a five, now it shows as 86.49. So if you're interested in keeping track of what your monthly averages are, this little area can help you do that easily. You just have to actually remember to change this number here to the number of months that you already have set up in the spreadsheet. So um, if this is something that interests you, you will have the link to click um, in the video description if you're seeing this on YouTube, but also on the blog post that this particular blog is going to be on. And of course, if you have any questions, let me know. Oh, and if you opt for the for the Google Drive version, one thing that's going to be really important that you do when I send you the link is to immediately come into this document and go to File, Make a Copy. And you want to make a copy for yourself so that way anyone else who has, that you're not putting data into the link I send you because anyone who purchases it would have that exact same link so you'd want to make a copy and then you just have your own copy of course rename it whatever you want and then you will be good to go and you won't inadvertently have someone writing over the data that you're putting in for yourself so that is super super important thing to do if you get the google drive version